Hello guys, you're with MPK Live and we're at the London Grow Show 2014. We've got Carlos from Nano Lux. Thomas is out and about talking to other people, so we'll be around talking to a few of the other guys at the Grow Show. But we've got Carlos, Nano Lux. How are you, Carlos? Stephen, it's a pleasure to be here with the uh, Liverpool boys. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be here with you, Stephen. Um, you got back in the show here. Uh, we were here last time in Manchester, if you believe we saw each other, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got lots of sweets, coke, you've got a nice stand. Oh, thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah quick, quick stand. So, Nanolux. Nanolux. Tell us a little bit about where Nanolux came from and what it does. Nanolux is, is a, uh, actually a factory brand that uh, is our, the high-end brand for the factory. It includes a Wi-Fi system called, what distinguishes this, this ballast from the rest of them, um, is that it has a Wi-Fi radio, private radio uh, transmission system. Uh, smart ballast yep. that allows you to program, you can turn on, you can turn off, you can, there's a software, there's an app like iCalendar, so you can go through and program and say you want your ballast in, in the hot London summer, let's say from, from June, June, from 2 to 5, you can just, you know, if you have more than 5 ballasts, it's, just, it's a lot more practical to go ahead and program in like an iCalendar, yeah, yeah, say yeah. from 2 to 5, I want to dim 50% or 70%, you can do that now. It's a radio, it's a private radio, we haven't gotten IP yet with internet. So it's a private radio that really allows, secure as well. Yeah, that allows you, it's about 150 feet or so. So you're still within the grow area. Nice. And when you brought this now looks ballast to our show, the first thing that was really shocked with was the weight of it. It's really yeah, light. It's, it's 1.5 kilos. That's awesome. So that's that's for the fan model. The non-fan model has is a little uh, is a little larger because it has extrusion to you know to uh, diffuse the heat. So that one is just a little bit larger. It's still about 1.7 kilos, so it's not, not too light. We also have, basically, we're the lightest, we're the smartest, we're the coolest. We have one running here. It's been running for about, about an hour and a half now. You were to touch it, it would. It's basically the same temperature as whatever your room. Is. Yeah. So um, and that, that allows you. I remember you said as well, you can stack like 10 of these pallets on correct. top of each other, all them. running at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Them. yeah. You want you want the heat in your room to come from your bowl, not from your ballast. And you want to work around. You work with that. And with, with a cool running ballast, that just it just goes to show how well made it is from the inside because it's bringing in a lot of electricity and a waste product of electricity is heat. Now, right. you're not getting any heat, so where's that electricity going? It's getting put into the ball. Correct, it's not being lost as heat. Exactly, and that's, right. that's where all your heat comes from from the ball. Extra light, extra energy. So we have you know, 250 watt, 400 watt, 600 watt, 1000 watt. All our lights are dimmable, of course. It's the standard in the industry now. Yeah, yeah. We have a non fan and fan model, like I mentioned. Uh, some people don't like moving parts, get the non fan uh, model. If you're growing in a greenhouse or in a high humid environment, you know, England's actually pretty humid in here. So, uh, Maybe uh, if you're bringing in fresh air from out and a passive uh, intake, you're probably better off with a non-fan version. You know, yeah. It's rent to humidity. Um, but we have the latest, our latest ballast that like I was showing you a little earlier, is a new double-ended Nanolux. Uh, it's, yes, it's patterned after the Gavita, yeah. after the Gavita DE. Uh, it's got four hours inside the horizontal standing. It has the built-in Wi-Fi already. It's kind of an accessory. Um, quick release reflector. Uh, we produce our own two, uh, 400 volt bulb. Uh, it has ceramic moguls versus yeah. plastic. Uh, and one of the good features as well is it's flat. So it's flat top to look yeah. in it. So you can, like you said, you can raise it higher in your room. You're not going to lose space when you Yeah, you don't lose that working height, which, which is probably the most important space that you have in your room or your, your grow tent. So two things for our listeners to take note of is first of all, we bang on about it all the time, but if you're still using magnetic ballasts, you're in the Stone Age need to start switching to digital. Like Carlos has just said, we're probably still shocked that some people use magnetic ballasts. Yeah, well, the magnetic ballasts are very reliable. It's, 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 it's old faithful, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're very heavy. Some of them hum. I, I don't mind the hum of some of them because uh, when you walk into a grow room, you hear it. It's, for me, it's always, it's always a Be signal sure. that everything was working, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> it's like a signal for me. So, I mean, those were the old days. Uh, they do have a 10% overhead, which means that if you have a 1,000 watt bulb, a ballast, magnetic core and coil, it's consuming 1,100 in reality. At yeah. least, at least, some of them were less efficient than others. There were only really three major uh, manufacturers in the States. Uh, Magnatec, among one of them. Solo was another one. Uh, Universal was another one. So, uh, but no, that's, I mean, that's all the technology. Those are also very expensive because the price of copper went up, yeah. right? So they're, uh, they, they pretty much are priced out of the industry. Mm -hmm. They may be very reliable, but they're priced themselves right out of the industry. 
So if you've got money to spend and you're thinking, I might get a new nutrient or I might just upgrade the tent, what we would recommend is go for the digital. <laughs> yeah, but it's always air light and nutrients, right? So yeah. we're talking about both of yours. I love, I love, I love grow rooms. I've been gardening for 20 years. And I had to say that your light indoors, your light is your primary fiber. So, uh, you know, an increase of 5% light in terms of yield is significant. Uh, so yeah, absolutely, you want to have your light maximized. Uh, then after that, I would say uh, nutrients, you know, nutrition will come second to the Air is up there, of course, air, air is considered part of my nutrition program. So, uh, and of course you have MPK, so you don't have to worry about that, right? <laughs> you know where to get the best. Uh, what else have we got here? The lower heat equals longer life with your ballast. How, yeah. how long would you say your ballast to last for? Well, we, have, we do have, a, because we're factory, we do have a three-year warranty. It's got a three-year warranty, so uh, we're factory warranty, so that's, so that's good. But uh, we never really had to exercise much. We do have, we're well below the lower industry in returns. So if you look at all, especially particularly here in Europe, uh, well below the industry in terms of returns. Uh, in fact, I, I can, I, I can name you just a few occasions when we've had any issues. Uh, mostly because there were the diversity of electricity in every country. You know, yeah. you, that was more of a country issue than it was a product issue. So that adapted to each voltage uh, drops that we have in different countries in Eastern Europe, that was difficult. But uh, we worked around that, uh, like any other company. Um, no, absolutely, electronics will run, when they run cooler, they last longer. So uh, right away, right there, we've had to exercise very little bit of our warranty. But we're factory, so we, we don't, you know, we don't we have the least cost to repair and all that. So. It's a good ballast, yeah. I like it. Hey. And it's, it's in our shop as well. Excellent. Now, Great. some of the things, we've got the sheets of the Nano Lux digital ballast sheets in terms of us. Just to it out with some, uh, some of the bullet points. Uh, saving yourself up to 30% energy compared to magnetic ballast. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, adjustable, dimmable, yeah, essential. I want to touch on that for a second, Stephen. There, we, were, we were probably the last to re we were the most that resisted going to overdrive super luminous. Yeah. We resisted it because we're we like to meet specifications. We don't like to overdrive a product that's not designed to be operated like that. Okay, it's like revving up your car, driving your car up, you know, five thousand RPM. You could your car's gone in a few months. Or driving without oil for instance. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone in a few days. So we like to do things by spec. So it took a long time to convince our engineers to break rules. You know, once they understood that, yeah, okay, some growers would, would overdrive their bulb on their very last cycle to get as much juice out of it as possible. When that when that information hit their engineers, they're like, okay, well, maybe we'll make an exception. So on the next generation that are coming to England, they will have uh, overdrive. They also have specific uh, voltages, so they'll operate at 1,000 watt or 600 watt, so you can ch actually change the voltage as well, and that's just dim. It's not a percentage angle, no, it's, 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 it's a discrete voltage. Oh, that's so what that's, we want. Yeah, wattage, so we'll be doing that. Uh, so, but uh, like I said, we, we manufacture lots of brands, and this, this kind of lets you be the high-end uh, high brand that we, we manufacture. So, for, so for our listeners, um, you mentioned top 400 volts, you have the pros and cons, just give us, before we wrap up, Oh, okay, yes, cons and the excellent, that's a good question, yeah, that's, that's new technology, so, uh, developed by, by Mr. Phillips, um, the 400 volt bulb produces more, more par, yeah. more par value, it, 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 photosynthetic active radiation, yeah. which right. is what the light, it's not lumens, people, lumens are for humans, past the planet. It, it is brighter, yeah. I, I must say, so it's, so it does have more lumens, but more importantly, uh, it has the correct uh, quality of light that, yeah. that, 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 the that, stimulates, that stimulates photosynthesis. Yeah. So that that's that's the first benefit. Twenty percent is significant. Considering the bulb only costs a few more quid, you might as well just pay the extra quid and get significantly the higher margin return on, on your bulb. The second feature of that would be that it has it's longer durability. It's being it's being uh, stuck on both ends, so the, it's efficient, more efficient. Um, so your depreciation rate. Uh, rate it would, be, it would be lower than, uh, than the standard HPS. So really what it is, is it, and the gas composition and size also changed. So like I said, that, that changes the quality of the line. Yeah. So, and basically that's the next step up for the HPS, uh, for the H improvement of HPS, yeah. is now the double-ended HPS, what it is. So that's the next improvement. The, uh, another benefit is for the a, a, a higher frequency and slightly higher voltage. They call it the 400 volt bulb. It's yeah, because it's around 400. Uh, the regular HPS is about 360 sometimes, yeah. so it's, it's nearby, it's just a little higher off voltage. So that distinguishes it, that's why it distinguishes 400 volts. Uh, in reality though, physically, if you look at it, with, 
what makes the most difference is that it's double-ended. You can't use any mobile socket on that. You've got to use a double-ended socket assembly. So, top tip from Carlos for all our listeners is that if you're using a dimmable ballast and you've got the super luminous feature, try not to use that super luminous feature until you're going to you're going to replace your bulb anyway. Maybe the last four weeks of your flower and stuff. Yeah. You're going to whack your super luminous. Get all the juice out that bulb. And then you fly it, and then you come back to MPK for another case and see another set of them. <laughs> Correct. And if you want, if you want to maximize your HPS lighting that, before you go into step into LED or other realms, yeah, uh, then you want to do double LED. That's the natural. That's the natural step up. Tell us what's your website, yes. Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. So we have we have several. Uh, one is at nanolextech.com. Yeah. Uh, there you can see you can see our product line along with you can also download our software. The cloud system, our cloud system here, um, uh, and uh, you can also go to our growth technology page here in the UK. It's uh, growthtechnology.co.uk. Um, and we'll put all the links up to yeah, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that, Stephen. Dallas is a good friend of ours, and uh, it's been a pleasure to chat to you at the yeah. London Grow Expo. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm a little bit starstruck, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I, but I'm, it's a pleasure to be here with you, Stephen. You too. Um, that's it for Carlos and Analox. At MPK Technology in Liverpool, we pride ourselves on providing you with the products you need at the right price. Once more, if the products you want aren't in stock, we'll order them in for you. And if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, we'll happily point you in the right direction. MPK Technology Liverpool, going out of our way to help you grow. Visit www.mpktechnology.co.uk. It's good.